If you are coming to Bonaire to scuba dive, these are the dives you do not want to miss coming up. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I spent the last two weeks diving this island. I also dove here last year. And these are the dives, especially if your trip is not very long, you do not want to miss. Okay, all right. I know you know that I'm going to put this dive site on the list because it is so popular and also just so awesome. And we're talking about 1000 Steps, a beautiful spot that's on the north part of the island. What's amazing about 1000 Steps? Well, actually, let's talk about this first. It's not actually 1000 Steps. Whew, thank goodness. It's around 64 steps. Um, but it's named after, you know, the whole shore diving thing. When you come out of the water, it might be 64 steps going down, but it's gonna feel like a thousand going up. And it really, really does. 1000 Steps takes the win for being an amazing shallow-ish dive that has a ton of light and just the Little Mermaid song is playing the whole time because you got tons and tons of tiny fish everywhere around you. So take a drive north. It's on the narrow shared road. There's really not that many parking spots either. And get ready to see tons of tiny fish. And you might find some other big things. We found a pretty big eel on our dive, which I was very excited to see. But this dive in terms of getting into the water on a scale of one to 10 is on the one slash two entry side. Super easy, it's a one. It's going back up those thousand steps that makes it feel a little bit more challenging but actually getting into the water is very easy and awesome for snorkelers as well. This is 1000 Steps. Next on this list is the Salt Pier, and the Salt Pier just wins for variety and diversity. In other words, it's kind of the dive where there's something for everybody. You'll see, you'll see big fish, you'll see small fish, you'll see schools of big fish, schools of small fish. If you wanna see little itty bitty tiny fish, you can hang out next to the big coral, or if you wanna see some eels, look them amongst the rocks. There's so many things here and you never know what you'll see at Salt Pier. Every time I come, it's something different, but something that is guaranteed are these beautiful, stunning views of what it looks like when you're diving underneath the pier. It's just such a unique experience and it's such a great place to find so many fish hiding amongst here, as well as things growing on the pier. What also makes this dive awesome is that it's a really easy entry. So on a scale of one to 10, we're talking about a two or a three to get in. Sometimes there are waves, but not usually. And this is also a great place to see things in the shallows also. So you see a lot of snorkelers that come here. Ooh, helpful to know if there is a boat that's being loaded with the salt, then you cannot dive at the salt pier when there's a boat around. In other words, when the big boat is there, they don't really want you scuba diving under it with things potentially falling off that boat onto you while you're diving. Sounds kind of dangerous. So just keep that in mind. There was a boat that was there for a portion of the time I was on the island, but I still got in a few dives at this spot because it's one of my favorite spots. Salt Pier, variety and diversity. There's something to love for everybody. By the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and tell me in the comments below. I'm curious what dive sites you would recommend for people that they should not miss. We're all a community, let's help each other out. And let's talk about this next one, which is one of my favorites. Okay, all right. If you like turtles, even a little you must come to this dive site, and I'm referring to Turtle City. Here, you can see 
57 turtles in 57 minutes. My mind was blown going on this dive and literally going through the exercise of counting. It was exhausting. But this is a dive that you can do on the east side of Bonaire. Bonaire East Coast Divers with my guys, Fred and Sid, they're awesome. I need to tell you an honest story, which is last year when I went diving in Bonaire, I made a huge mistake in that I booked this boat dive as my final dive. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm only doing this once, which means I booked this as one of my first dives coming back in 2022, and then I did it repeatedly. So I went out on a total of five dives with Fred and Sid, all amazing. But Turtle City is a really amazing spot, and let me tell you why. What's really unique about Lock Bay is that this area is very, very protected. So the way the reef is shaped, etc., it's easy for the turtles to sleep and hide here and be safe from predators. And not only that, the grass that they eat grows here. And one thing that Sid taught me is that the turtles will grow 30% faster in Turtle City than they will out in the open ocean. So, I mean, think about it. If you were a turtle, you would just hang out in Turtle City all day and eat and sleep. That's what I would do, but I digress. So in Turtle City, you will just see so many turtles to the point where your neck will hurt from looking around and trying to figure out which one to look at. And every time I was looking at one, I'd realize I was swimming over one. And every time I started filming that one that was swimming underneath me, there would be three behind me. And so this is what Turtle City is like. It's an amazing spot as a bucket list destination for divers. You should not miss Turtle City, even if you just a little bit like turtles. Ooh, helpful tip. One other thing to know is that Fred, Sid, Bonaire East Coast Divers, those guys are busy. So check the info in the description below because not only do they book up very quickly, but they also have plans for taking people out on boat dives on other parts of the island that you might not want to miss out on. So I know I won't be missing out on that, but check out Fred and Sid, Bonaire East Coast Divers. Oh, you know what? Let's give you a bonus tip because or rather a bonus dive site, because it should be on this list. White Hole. White Hole, an amazing dive site. If you do, you have the option of doing two dives with them in the morning or just one single afternoon dive. And if you do the two dives, they will take you to White Hole. What's unique about White Hole is if you're like me and you, you get motion sickness and seasickness kind of easy, even though the boat ride out is very, very, very short, it's actually desirable that it's very bumpy with lots of waves because when that happens, all of the things will hide in the white hole. In other words, it's kind of a break in the reef in which is this sandy white hole. And here you can find a lot of rays that are hiding in the sand. You'll find the big tarpon. I was here with, with pretty smooth conditions. If you watch my other video, I talk about how I'm in Bonaire with some kind of unique weather and a lot of rain, which caused the bay to be calm. So I caught kind of an empty white hole, but still found some really great finds in here. So honorable mention, white hole. This next one is something special. And I literally mean something special because the name of the dive site is something special. If, if you're like me and eels give you all the feels, you're going to like this dive. I, I don't know, when I first started diving, I hated seeing eels. They were so scary looking. And now I am so excited to see them anytime that they poke their little heads out. And this is a place where you can see a variety of different kinds of eels. And they're kind of everywhere on this dive. I can't guarantee you an eel. I can guarantee you a turtle, turtle city, that's for sure. But there are a lot of eels on this dive. Oh, 
Here's one thing I can guarantee you'll see. You'll see a lot of these beautiful, beautiful anemones. They're just so pretty and sometimes they're in different colors and the way they just sway in the water, it's just really beautiful. This is a shallow dive though, and it's right in the middle of town, and it's a very, very easy entry. We're talking about a one, uh, and there's almost like no waves here because there's, there's boats around. Um, and it makes it really easy as a night dive. So if you're into night diving, this is a really great place for that. But at something special, you can expect to see those boats like I talked about, which I personally love just seeing the shadows of the boats and the way that they're tied in in the water and seeing what's growing around their anchors. I love to see that. But you'll also see a ton of cowfish here. There's lots of big sandy patches um, and there's just lots of fish on this dive. One other unique thing, you'll see the reef restoration project here. So it's really unique to see it in the water. Sometimes you'll see some fish swimming around it, but it's kind of a unique thing to take a look at. This is something special. I think the south part of Bonaire is so beautiful. Let's take a ride south and let's go check out the hooker. Uh, not the kind of hooker you might be thinking of. I'm talking about the Hilma hooker. This is a wreck dive and this wreck, or rather this ship sunk in 1984. And Hilma hooker, the top of the ship is at 60 feet, which means this is a deep dive. The mast is at around hundred feet. So this is a deeper dive where you can expect to see some big tarpon and just beautiful views of the wreck that's down here. Definitely a cool spot to check out, especially if you like doing wreck dives. And I have to give a quick shout out and thank you to One Blue Ocean and Henthorn. He's been traveling to this island for over 20 years and has helped me to put together some of the dive notes I'm sharing with you today. And this is, this is my roundup of the best dives. If you have a favorite dive, add it in the comments below. We're all a community. Let's give each other recommendations. And also I have another video that talks about kind of a roundup of other dives on the island. So info on that in the description below. But are you ready for my favorite one? Is it my favorite one? I guess they're all kind of my favorite ones. I don't know, this one's pretty special. Let's talk about it. This dive I'm so excited to tell you about is Red Slave. This dive site is named for the slave huts that are at the dive site. And what's so unique about this dive is, well, one, it's, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. This dive is located kind of on the corner of the island in the south, which means not only do you have a really unique profile that reminds me of like a, it reminds me of skiing double black diamonds. It, that's what I felt like. It's just this really, big sandy patch that just drops super steep into the shoulder. And this kind of profile of a dive isn't something I saw on other dive sites around the island. So it's a really unique dive site. And because it's on the corner, and usually, usually, the current is ripping in this area. You'll, you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what's gonna be coming by you, swimming by you. But what was unique was on the day I was there diving, there was no current. And in place of there being current, there were a lot of rays, like tons of stingrays. I, everywhere I looked, there, there was a stingray and, and then another stingray and then a, a stingray swimming under me. And I'm just like, wow, okay, all, all the stingrays are in the house at Red Slave. But aside from that, we also got a lot of really cool schools of fish just lots of them. And it was really neat to see the different kinds of schools of fish that we were seeing. I mean, we even got like a, a little mini school of oceanic triggers. I mean, I don't know what fish gives better side eye than oceanic triggers. If, if you have an answer, let me know in the comments below, but oceanic triggers have like a mean side eye, which I love. And I mean, their mouths just look hilarious. Anyway, we saw a lot of these on the dive. Normally this entry exit is a six or a seven and that strong current makes it more difficult. I got, I got pretty good conditions on this day, but Red Slave, such an amazing dive. 
Bon Air Diving is so amazing. If you had some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to tell me in the description if there's another dive site that you know about. We're all a community, let's help each other out. And you know what? Let's get out of the water and do some other fun things. Bon Air is full of adventures to be had. Come join me in this next video of things to do when you're not diving, and I'll see you over there. Ciao.